were you aware that there is certain places in a graveyard that you can be buried? No. Depending on how you died or who you were in life. No. Generally in Scottish kirks, the east side of the kirk is reserved for the ecclesiastical folk, i.e. the ministers and deacons and eldermen and stuff like that. Um, the north side is generally murderers, those who have been murdered, accidental deaths and suicides. Yes. Um, south side of the kirk is generally where the more well to do the upper class folk would be buried and the west is what is classed as the rabblement that would be just the rest of us. The unusual feature about this chapel is the door is on the east side, which was quite unusual. The chapel is named Dougal's Chapel. I'm not sure whether it was named after Andrew Ditton's dog, Dougal, since he does the How to Hebrides. I don't think Dougal would want to climb through all these tick infested grasses to get to the door anyway. Christian presence here before the 9th century. They do believe that this series of chapels is of Irish style um, based on the old Irish monasteries of the time. Obviously we're going back to places like Iona and Martin's just got his cable tied in the hedge. <laughs> here we have the Clan Ranald Chapel. It's on the highest ground and also the oldest ground. You can't see how many some camel go panic. This also has an east facing door which is very unusual in chapels and the monastic sites. John of Moidart Queen's monies to rebuild this chapel and he was built here in 1574. Um, the armorial panel which went missing from this cha chapel is now in Kildonham Museum. I saw it earlier on and learnt the grisly story behind it. So all together we have Dougal's Chapel, St Mary's Church, St Dermot's Chapel and Clan Ranald Chapel. There was another chapel demolished in 1866, but it's now a burial enclosure. Very, very atmospheric. Celtic crosses everywhere you look. The 13th century chapel here would have served the whole of South East at the time, so obviously an ecclesiastical importance in the area.